and he's never asked for accolades, but we're going to give him a lot right now. If you've been a part of high school boys basketball in this province over the last 40 years, then you've seen and definitely heard Rich Goulet. He is the consummate career coach who has dedicated his life, and it seems every waking hour, to the sport of basketball. And it's been that way from day one. And what I remember most uh, about Rich is, is his competitive fire and his, his just his commitment to excellence uh, at all levels at any school he's ever been at, been at any team that he's ever coached uh, he's never seemed to lose his energy or his enthusiasm or his spirit for the game when it's dead you gotta get back on the guy coaching is one of those things that some people are born to do and in Goulet's case there was never another option not, not only did I want to be a teacher I just wanted to also teach basketball and coach it was just Something that when I started playing the game of basketball that I felt into naturally and I started at elementary school and worked my way up and ever since I've just fell in love with coaching and the procedure. Goulet has enjoyed all sorts of success including three senior boys provincial championships at Pitt Meadows Secondary where he's led that program since 1978. He recently won his 1,000th game at the senior varsity level. That's a lot of wins. That's a lot of yelling. Don't, don't go into hell. Don't go leave them. My challenge to everybody who ever plays them is to shut me up. If they can perform, they'll shut me up. If everybody performs, they'll shut me up. So, you know, there's a little... So I want to keep on their case so that they can know that I'm not shut up yet. Come on. Get up over there. You had to get out and overplay that guy and make him go back door. As much success as Goulet's had on the court, it's the relationship with kids and other coaches that he cherishes most. Aaron Christensen, who later went on to star at SFU, played four seasons under Goulet at Pitt Meadows in the late 90s. You know, when you spend two or three hours a day for four years with somebody, uh, you, you pick up a lot, you learn a lot. So he, uh, he adds a lot of value as far as um, like character and strength and integrity and honesty. I'm getting letters every year now from kids I coach in the 70s and the 80s who are thanking me for the discipline and the organization that I brought to them that has helped them in life. At 65, Goulet should be thinking retirement. He had a scare this past summer when he suffered a stroke. He's on medical leave from teaching, but he's still coaching. The finish line's in sight, but still a few miles down the road. The coaching is just too enjoyable, and I've really got to feel that if the day is there that I really want to pull away from it. Could you imagine if every time we messed up, we had to do push-ups? Like, I'd be in tremendous shape. It'd be trouble. <laughs> it would be a lot of trouble. arms out the ear. What a great, what a great story, though. Yeah, what a great coach.